how long have you been practicing meditation for? Um, in my personal life, I've been practicing for over 23 years by now. Wow. Yeah. But in scope of work, I've been leading and running meditation, one-to-one -one sessions and workshops for guests for about 20 years. There are many different kinds of meditations, That's correct? That's correct. Um, what, which method do you practice? Well, to break it down, Florence, um, meditation can be, to me, to make it very, very simple, it can be a sound-based meditation in which you either listen to a sound and that's where you hold your focus, or you chant a sound in the form of mantras and you hold your focus. It could be breathwork-based where you hold your focus on your breathing and that's how you meditate. It could be visualization-based as well, so where you're going through a guided video visualization or even doing it yourself. Out of all these methods, the one that I find personally very um, helpful to me, and that's just, I speak for only myself here, I find sound-based meditations very effective. That's right. I've also heard of walking meditations too. Absolutely. So it can come in many different forms. Absolutely. So do you have guests at the Four Seasons, you know, they want to check into the spa, they come for a massage, a relaxing day, and they're like, oh, I also want to meditate as well. And you guys can offer that to your guests. Absolutely. So that is something that's immensely satisfying to me as a meditation practitioner. We have a lot of young guests as well who want to start their meditative practice. So they want to have that one session with us to see how it is, to understand how it goes, what they feel like, and then probably start a practice of their own afterwards. That's true. I know of a lot of people um, who feel intimidated by meditation because you know they have to sit still for a long period of time. They can't let their mind wander. Um, are there any tips you have for beginners or any meditation myths you can debunk for us? You've actually precisely said the myth aloud, Florence. Oh, and, wow. You know, <laughs> meditation is not about what you can't do. It's about allowing yourself that space to be in stillness. I agree. Mm -hmm. But we never say things like you cannot let your mind wander or you have to sit still. It comes with practice. The whole idea is to start with a practice of mindfulness where you're acutely aware of the present moment and that's it. There is no past. There is no future. There's no past moment. There is no coming moment. All that is there is where you are right now. So as soon as you're able to do that as a first step, it eventually will lead you to a point where you're able to keep your minds free, mind free of thoughts for a while at least. What benefits are there to meditation? Well, the benefits are so many, it's, um, you know, I hope I'm able to give you a very comprehensive answer. There are physical benefits, direct benefits on health. Uh, meditation works on the parasympathetic nervous system, helps to bring down blood pressure, helps to keep your body in balance, your hormones in balance. Um, and of course, direct effects on stress, on sleep, on, on the way you just deal with everything in your life. I think effects are profound and meditation touches every aspect of our living. Wow. Do you meditate every day? Yes, I do. For how long? Well, I sometimes, if I'm able to find the time, I love to sit down for a good half an hour in the mornings. But in case I know that I'm going to have a busy day, I've and I'm not able to take that time out all at one go. I have developed a practice where I can slip into a meditation wherever I want, whenever I want, and I have a few moments. So I have my own mantra, which I keep chanting in my, in my mind. And whenever I have even a couple of minutes, it's easy for me to yes. then slip into I've, it. I've heard that from, from, from a monk before as well. Oh. He, he mentioned that to me. Yeah, just whenever, just even for five minutes, it's, it's yes. still helpful to you. For your yes, day. That's very true. I want to touch upon two topics you mentioned earlier, which are so important in health, but I feel sometimes that it is very overlooked. Mm. When people think of health, they're like, oh, I need to hit the gym, I need mm. to eat clean. But you know, the two topics you mentioned, which was stress and sleep, is equally important in well being. Um, and I just wanted to ask what are your thoughts between um, the connection? Uh, do you mean the connection between sleep and stress? Yes, yes. Absolutely, totally connected because I think it goes without saying that if you're stressed, this, your sleep suffers as well. Along with, of course, other things uh, like appetite and digestion mm. and every aspect of your being again. And uh, there's a huge correlation between the two. And I think if I were to select one thing that would help your body and mind regenerate from the effects of stress in your daily life, it would be sleep. Mm. It's of primary importance. E even more than getting a massage or going to the gym or... 
Well, I wouldn't say more because you might need to get that massage for that time. For a good quality sleep. Exactly. But what you're trying to achieve even through the massage or going to the gym is to actually be able to sleep better so to that you're giving well. your... And a lot of us tend to forget that sleep is not only a time where your body rests, it's also a time where many important fun uh, organs of the body are regenerating. Mm. That's when your skin regenerates, that's when your nervous system regenerates. All your cells which need repair or maintenance, if I may put it that way, happens during sleep. I heard there's like a specific time that they, they regenerate too, so that's why sleeping earlier at say 11 p.m. is better for your body than sleeping at 4 a.m. Is Absolutely. that true? Absolutely. Yes, I mean, and very interestingly, traditional Chinese medicine lays down, that down as well. And every organ has their own time of regeneration and activity. Um, and hence, we say that, for example, and I may be, you know, I may not be totally right in this one. This is just as an example. If the liver is regenerating between 11 and 1, so you better hit the bed before yeah. 11 to allow it that time to regenerate. Yeah. That's why my mom was always like, sleep before 1 or else your <laughs> liver will suffer. <laughs> Does she say that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe I'm not that off the point with the liver here. And then sometimes when I stay up, I'm like, mm, my liver is hurting. <laughs> like, I should go to sleep. 